Hey, welcome back, everybody. Listen, now that the weather has been so great, a lot of us are in the car, we're driving around the neighborhoods, we're driving around other communities. Have you really looked at how others might view your home driving by? They call that curb appeal. And one thing that can harm your curb appeal is dated vinyl siding. Well, Mike Washington is back from Ivy League Construction with some information about today's modern siding and why you're going to want to have Ivy League to have it installed. Good morning. Good morning. You have pictures here. I would not guess that this is vinyl siding. So let's talk about today's siding options. Sure. There's so many vinyl siding options today. Textures, looks, colors, uh, the styles of siding that can go on. It can really transform your house. And, and Mike, what's the benefit of having vinyl siding? What's it's, it do for it, the house? Vinyl's really final. We talk about it all the time, that it's protecting the house that's really next to your cladding, mm -hmm. but also what's the curb appeal of your home? You know, when you go and look at a home, you're selling your home, you're buying a new home, what is the curb appeal of that? As you're standing on the curb looking at your home, oh, wow, does it look fresh and new? And vinyl yeah. really does that. You never have to touch again, never have right. to paint again. Wow. And nothing will rot. There's no mildew. There's no way bugs can get at your house. Yeah. It, it won't attack the vinyl so siding. So it's kind of like an outdoor protective shell. It really is. Yeah. It really is. You know, and all the prep work that goes behind that you don't see mm -hmm. also was adding to that protection. All right. Well, sure. we have some examples here. Yep. This is actually a, a, a vinyl siding. There's a clapboard on the bottom. We actually ran a, a ribbon belt all the way around, and then we transfer it up on the top on the front of the house to a cedar shake look. It's a perfection. Look at that. Mm -hmm. um, this product here is all vinyl. All the trim on this house was Azac. So that's a composite material that goes around. Again, doesn't need any painting ever. No. Uh, bug proof, uh, will never rot. The sun can't do any damage to it. Um, and if vinyl, you want that, like a historic look, yes. you can do that now with today's vinyl. Yeah, and it really is it's really clean, clean and crisp looking. Yes. Uh, it gives you a double lifetime warranty. So as long as you own the home, and also when you go to sell your home, the next homeowner also will have a full lifetime warranty as long as they own that home. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. All right, let's yeah. see some more. Sure. Here's another nice. siding option, right? Uh, vinyl again. All the trim on this house now going all the way around is going to be aluminum. Mm -hmm. uh, the aluminum coil stock, there's about 1,400 different colors in aluminum coil stock. So any color, anything you can imagine. And this we have the large fluted columns mm. on the corner mm -hmm. posts here. In the back we ended up using the small ones. And then the shutters here, just to complement that. And that's usually our third color option that we'll actually show. Um, just to give another flair mm -hmm. to the house. It's a nice look. Again, this is a double four vinyl vinyl siding. Underneath that siding, everything gets stripped all the way down to the sheeting. That way we can inspect all the substrate of the house to make sure there's no rot or mildew. So yep. when, again, we do this, it is done once. You never have to do this again. Tyvek goes on underneath that. Uh, all the seams get taped. Good insulation. Uh, it's air sealing. is good insulation. And then there's a dowel board in R4 dowel that goes over the top of all the yeah. Tyvek. See, it really look at the difference at a house. If this is your house, now you have the shutters. You have the um, contrasting color for the windows. It just makes such a difference from your neighbor's house. It really does. And for what your house is going to be worth. For sure. Yeah. It really does. Another oh, house. Wow. Now, this is a, a combination of things. This is stucco. Okay. okay? Uh, so that's hardy board. That's a concrete based product. Comes in sheets that we actually cut to fit. Uh, again, all the wood trim here that you see painted black, that's all Azac. Oh. So that is all vinyl safe painted Azac on there. Again, will never rot. There's no, uh, the sun can't do any damage right. to it. So you can have this look in Buffalo and not worry about it that's weathering. Right. That's right. It won't weather at all. If you look at the little dormers up top, that's actually vinyl in there. Uh. Again, it, just a different look, totally different aspect of a house. Uh, and, and it really stepped with the, with the character in this house. This mm -hmm. house was built around the turn of the century, about 1910 this home was built. Uh, it was on, it's on Saybrook down in the city. And uh, they really wanted to keep it historical to what it looked like. Uh, right. Up here there was clapboard and down on the lower, it was all stucco work. Wow, beautiful. Just, yeah, so now just, stucco goes up in sheets. How yeah, interesting. And we, and we just took it to modern technology again, so there's no repair maintenance for her as long as she owns that home. Nice. Yeah, beautiful. real nice look. Oh, another another it. front house mm -hmm. of so, uh, a so small cute. cape in Tonawanda. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be our classic. It's, this is going to be Dutch lap, double four and a half vinyl siding. Uh, it's going to have the white trim, aluminum trim all the way around. And then we added the, the hunter green shutters, louvered. A uh, real nice classic look for our area with the white trim. Just really nice. I, I don't know how old this house is, but it looks brand new. It really does. Yeah. This house probably built in the 1950s. Yeah, it looks brand new. Uh, and realistically, yeah, the roof got done on this one. New siding, and, and it's just it, it totally 
improve the mm -hmm. curb appeal. Going back to that, really look at this. Wow, it does look brand new again. And, and you know, Mike, if you're going to do this, and maybe you have a job like this that's uh, scheduled, think about what you want to do with the front shrubbery too. Because if you if you're if you have foundation uh, landscaping, it's overgrown after 20 years. Sure. When these Definitely. bushes get like up here. It's it's already kind of you can of, barely see the house you can't, and it makes the house look so much older yep. when you can't see it. Sure. Try to get rid of those and start over again. You'd be surprised how new smaller bushes make the house look newer. And, and it really does. Yeah. You know, it really does. It's yeah. a nice look. It's amazing. That's just the, the Linda little uh, tip, <laughs> tip of the day here. Right. Again, some more oh, vinyl like siding. Yeah. So this is going to be our half round scallops. Uh, this is like a seafoam green. That's siding? That is vinyl siding up there. I thought that was wood. Again, maintenance. <laughs> Maintenance free, you never have to touch that. The large soffit area in here, that's all vinyl. Aluminum trim going all the way across this house. And then on the lower, color matched, identical, it's double four vinyl. It's a really nice look. Again, getting back to it doesn't have to be wood anymore. It right. can be vinyl. That way you don't have any maintenance. Okay. Uh, another house, a double four clapboard. Yeah. Again, uh, it's clay Very color, similar, white yeah. trim, a large surround going around that door to really pop that off and make their numbers stand now, out. Mike, do some people still just side one side, or is now the trend is to side all the way around? Typically, we'll side all the way around. A lot of times, we're putting stone on the front mm -hmm. veneer on the bottom half. Now, our masons come in and do that, uh, or we'll put the decorative uh, siding, the scallops or the uh, uh, cedar look mm -hmm. uh, up in the dormers. There's the possibility are really endless today. And don't forget, we're talking about siding for today, but take a look at this house. Maybe you want a walkway put in. Sure. Mike will do that. Maybe yep. you finally are ready to put in the railings. Um, sure. You have people who could really use that, you know, that, 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 that comfort of having something to grab onto at the top of the steps. Maybe there was nothing there before. Uh, how about your doors? How about your windows? Uh, just, just take a look at the whole picture and see in, in your, you know, go out to the street and take a look. Yep. Say, how's my house we look? We do that all the time. Right. And, and realistic, we sometimes we'll work a facade at a time. Yeah. That, hey, in the budget right now, we don't have all that, but hey, we can do the windows right. on the front or the siding on the front. Yeah. We'll work with your budget. We'll work around what, what you really need. Right. And then also put it in order. Yeah, so you, know, you, you can make it first things first. Yes, let's, let's you don't do really want to come in right. and, and do your siding and then do your roof. No, we right. should do your roof first mm -hmm. so we're not stripping down on top of right. your brand new siding. So you're the perfect person to have over for coffee. Yes. And say, all right, what do we, where do we go? What do we do first? We do that every day. Yeah. And, and then kind of steer our clients through that, mm -hmm. that maze of, hey, what is the do right. so you're not going back and spending sure. money twice. Yeah. For sure. Again, this Love is a it. dark granite siding, darker colors, real popular today. The bright white trim on that house. Again, we have the fluted columns on the outside corners here. Gives you a nice wide board, a nice, real nice look to that. Uh, this is going to be Dutch lap again. There's a little yeah, like different that. of a profile on that. Mike, let me ask you, how do you, do you have to clean it? Um, it's a hose. It's That's all you hose. need. Just a Just hose. hose. That's all you will need. Wow. Yeah. Uh, again, it will give you the double lifetime warranty on this. So as long as you own that what home, a charming you'll, little you'll, house. It's a great install um, for all the seasons. You don't have to worry about, you know, yeah. s s the sun. You don't have to worry about the snow. Everything is taken and, care and of. And does it pop? I mean, here the house next door is white. Probably 80% yeah. of our houses yeah. in Buffalo are white a for some reason. Look at, look at the color pop. Yeah, yeah, it really came out wow. nice. And really don't nice. forget, you, what, when you're talking about double lifetime warranty, you want to definitely make sure Ivy Lee is there for the install. Sure. Because there's a lot of great reasons, and there's some specials uh, that you'll miss out on. For sure. We always have specials on Facebook. Go to Facebook. This month we have $900 off any home improvement project, 0% interest for 24 months, one of our uh, most popular finance options. Again, to, to be able to help people with their budgets uh, and stretch that money out over a couple years is a really popular option. Mm, and again, I would have never guessed that was siding. That's vinyl, that's <laughs> that's that cedar look, um, a variegated wood look that's on there. Um, it's perfection siding again. If you look at that, it really looks like wood yeah. from the street. But on the side, I see Yeah, we ended up doing yeah. clapboard on mm -hmm. the side and on the front of that. And on the front here, it's all cedar. Uh, again, vinyl, white trim going around all these windows. really pops and, and out. And you can help them add the shutters if the house sure. didn't already have them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In this case, we did the Wineberry shutters. They really pop yeah. off. And add a nice combination to that house. Nice yeah. black roof, simple, and then mm -hmm. you add that third color. It really, really sharpens it yeah, up. Yeah, it can just change change the whole look. We like that so much we We're put it in put twice. It on twice, right. <laughs> Love it. Uh, another option here, uh, if you look cute. here, 
Yeah, this is a small Cape house, right? Pretty small yeah. home. We added some windows in this house to really uh, uh, to really pop out. And this application here, uh, we did a full home remodel here. Uh, this was an, an attic in a first floor turned into a single floor. So it's a big cathedral ceiling inside of there. If you can imagine, and light just pours yeah, into that, that room. Yeah, that is just such a smart idea. Yeah, it really cleaned everything up there. And then Look we put a this. lot of gingerbread and I a lot of detail that. work on the front mm -hmm. of the house. Uh, again, gray with the white scallops, the white scallops here, uh, and then we put the gray and blue shutters on the front just to pop out again. Looks like the perfect um, house you want to come home to every Really night, nice. Right? Isn't it charming? Really charming. Yeah, for so sure. So cute. Again, Ooh. we also get into wood, and I brought this slide mm -hmm. to actually show that we do do a lot of cedar replacement down into the city. Uh -huh. um, if you look here, now this is actually cedar wood that's going to end up being painted. Um, again, the corner boards, vinyl corner boards, now this is all wood. All the, all the siding going through here is cedar. Um, that, I wanted to show that because we do do both. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get down into the, into the historical areas, and you can't put vinyl on. Mm -hmm. They won't allow you to. The mm -hmm. historical preservation, they want it to be exactly now, like it is this today. Now, was this original? This is all original. That was all from about 1880. Wow. Um, so but if somebody wanted that reproduced, you could do that. We could yeah. reproduce that, yeah, uh, for sure. The, the details, you want to make sure the details are exact. Mm -hmm. um, and when we go down to the preservation board, we want to uh, uh, show them what we can do and then also make sure that it is exact. Because yeah. the differences wow. are, um, you need it to be that same look. Yeah. You know, they really want it to be and that look. And of course, when you're hiring Ivy League, they do all the permit work and yes. all that kind of stuff, so you don't even have to worry about for that. For sure. That's what for they sure. do. And yeah. remember, Great values. Uh, like them on Facebook. You'll always see some of the new things that are coming. Ask about the financing. And of course, when you're having Mike over for coffee, you're just going to love visiting with him. And then you're going to love the guys who come. The, the workmen are terrific. Ivy League Construction. They're located in Tonawanda, but Mike and his crew, they go everywhere. 875-8654. IvyLeagueConstruction.com could be the best call you make all day.